How we doing? Zane. Check, 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 check. It's Zane. He's spiking. Oh, thank God. Oh, no. What does that mean? You're just very loud. Okay. You're okay. very loud in that yellow hoodie. Literally, Kenny, don't care. <laughs> Did you guys see what Zane said? Like, it seems like he really doesn't like Kenny. <laughs> Oh, I see so many comments of like whenever Kenny makes a face or something. I was like, I don't think Kenny likes any of that. Right. I love it's that. It's so funny. I, I love it. I love that. We hate each other. I wish I could. Tur- I wish I had a switch where I could turn my accent on. And I could talk like your mom. <laughs> it's just so funny. You mean like how I do it? <laughs> yeah. I don't stop though. Your mom no. has such a good. I know. Accent. I break out into that accent when I'm Definitely. uncomfortable. Break out in tears. Really? Yeah. Like I'll do it if I'm around strangers more because I'm very because I I can't hold a conversation. I'm just like socially awkward, you know. I'm like socially awkward, awkward, you know. (laughs) Socially awkward. I go, why were you pandering to me when you said socially awkward? (laughs) You're like, oh, you do the accent for me all the time, (laughs) all the time. Hey guys, good morning. It's Monday slash Tuesday morning. How you doing? I hope everyone's doing a good. I'm awful accent. Awful. Awful. Yeah, what was that supposed to be? Terrible. Horrible. It was was supposed to be Tina. 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 That's Mariah's mom. Tina the talking tummy. (laughs) We were were doing crosswords the other night, and we called her mom to help us with some of the crosswords, and it was the funniest thing. (laughs) She's just so confident about shit, but, like, it's going nowhere. Also, (laughs) just when she repeats the question, but, like, as an answer, we're like... (laughs) All right, the... the, the, Okay, so we got a a hint. It's, uh, It's... Josh Peck in a Nickelodeon TV show. She goes, Josh Peck in a Nickelodeon TV show. Josh Peck. And then we're, we're on to the next four questions, and you hear her mumbling, TV show. TV show. Josh oh, we Peck? An- we answered Peck? it already. We answered it. Peck? John. John. Aunt John. Josh Peck. Ma, we already answered it. What, it, what is it? Drake and Josh. Drake and Josh. Drake. Right. Drake All and right. Josh. All right. Now that we got there, that. She goes, there you go. Drake and Josh. <laughs> We've been doing a lot of cro- crosswords in this family. I it's love been, crosswords. It's been a lot of fun. You love that shit. I don't know. I, I feel like I learn new things while playing that game. It's crazy. As you should. I think that's what they're for. I like it too. It's kind of like a little brain teaser, but you're yeah. learning at the same time. Kenny, Kenny's and really good. You're really good at crosswords. I just I love play it. with you and you get all the answers and I, I pretend <laughs> I'm doing it. Yeah. I love playing with you because anytime I say something, you go, oh my God, it fits. That's probably it. And I'm like, no, it's, I'm really not sure you're going, I'm putting it. I'm just going to put it. And then every other word that interacts with that word is just screwed because it it's probably be wrong. It so far off yeah. that he'll make it make sense in his head. It's always He's wrong. He's like, if it fits, if it fits. The hint was beauty. I put salon. It didn't yeah. think twice about not, it. I just put not salon. beauty beast. <laughs> not beauty and the beast. Pretty. Pretty. Uh, like any nothing. Just <laughs> salon. Salon. That fits, so that's the answer. Yeah. Beauty blender, hey, so, nothing. M- but we respect the confidence. Very good. That's right. Let's roll through that intro, baby. It's coffee tall, babe. You're really gonna do it that uh uh-uh. uh run it back, run it back, like run it back. It's my fucking show. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. It's coffee talk, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's coffee, coffee tall, baby. baby. <laughs> Well, welcome back to Zane and Heath. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm your host, Heath. I can't believe that worked. And I'm Zane. What's that? I said, I can't believe that worked. Like, worked. Zane just looked at you like, well, go ahead. And you're just like, all right, uh, welcome back to. He's like, well, you got twin telepathy. Y'all twins? You heard it here first. Yikes. Yeah. Right? That's when, like, twin telepathy. Telepathy. When I'm thinking of something. Let, oh, fuck it. I'm Zane Hijazi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the host of the show, and that's Heath. And we have Mariah and Kenny in the back. Hey, y'all. <laughs> How y'all doing? Do you guys have drinks on? Hey, there. No. Oh, this is, this is a drunk podcast. <gasps> you guys didn't get the email? No. It was in We're the chain. sipping on the same candle. <laughs> <laughs> is it a drunk episode? Sure. I don't know. I think it's a drunk episode every episode for us. Well, you got a point there. All right. Well, I kind of liked what we were talking about earlier about the... Uh, the praying stuff. I thought that was really interesting. Oh, great. The, what praying stuff? <laughs> the stuff that was singling Have you ever out. prayed? Do I believe God exists? Yes. Do Very good. I can't take myself... I can't take praying seriously. I don't know why. Like, sitting there and closing my eyes and, and praying, I'm not believing it in my head, so I feel like it's not really praying. Oh, like it doesn't count. Yeah. And um, I'm I'm, I'm talking... Right now, I'm talking about praying, like, when you go to church and then you pray, you, like, go on your knees and pray. Mm-hmm. I also would have to pray when I lived with my dad. Um, you have to pray like three times a day. Yeah. It's a whole like, uh, <laughs> what's the word? Process? Not a process. Like when you pray, like at, in church, when you pray, you pray and then boom. But 
in the Muslim culture, you pray. It's like the, you stand up and then you bend and then you stand back up again and then you go on the floor. It's like, a process. Like a routine. It's, it's a, a routine. Correct. It. Fuck. I used to probably sound like an idiot to the to my Arab brothers and sisters watching. There's like what a fucking disgrace. Um, we like kneel down. <laughs> I think we like touch our head. Hey, on the there's ground. there's terms for it and I just don't right. know it. But that's okay. You don't practice yeah. it. You don't have to feel bad yeah. about that. Yeah. So I would I would pray only because. I was being watched or like I was told to pray, but I never actually sat there and like, I'm like watch connected by, with God. Yeah. I don't know. God. I don't know what it is. Obligated like, praying. Yeah. We, but I believe in God. I, I, I love God. I love everything God Listen, does for me. Everybody's but. timing is different. I feel like you're very connected to God. I try to be. Yeah. Do you like pray? Do you pray here and there? Or I pray really? when I remember too. Okay. Twice a day? Like once a week, twice a week. That's the that's thing, a, more than I thought. Well, yeah, I was gonna say that's the thing is like you feel like in your you know traditionally in your culture you pray yeah. a certain amount of times a day, but there's I think a point where it might lose meaning where you don't feel as like connected to your right, God right. or your idea of God. Yeah. So it would lessen the meaning if you just prayed less. Maybe you would feel more connected with God because every single time you pray, you feel very connected to Him. Yeah. You know what I mean? I assume. Welcome back to Jesus Christ Unfiltered. <laughs> You know what I think you need to be praying right now? This fashion choice. What's going on with your hat and your hood? Uh, we, we don't have to start out like that. I just... That was fine. Oh, okay. And I'm glad I put my two cents in with how I would pray. Yeah. I don't know. I felt, does that make me a shitty person? Would no, only no. pray because no, I was asked no, to? No, no, oh, okay. no, no, no. I felt That's like not a, how it works. I felt like a shitty no. person when I was younger. I wasn't like super into it. Yeah. But like, I was like greedy with my prayer. Like I was. <laughs> well, that's any kid. Yeah. Like you only pray if you want something. Right, right, results. Right. I remember when I was younger, I, I was in elementary school and there was something about this college prepaid thing where your parents start saving up when you're a child so that by the time you get to like college, they have like the funds to be able to put you into school. So Florida prepaid. You could win and they would pay for your entire college <gasps> off of some competition. I don't remember like what it was, but it was it was kind of like a raffle going. type thing. Greedy ass. And I remember being in the shower and I just got down and I started praying. I was like, please God, please pray for my like uh uh please pay for my college when I'm older so my parents don't have to save money and they, they don't have to worry about that. So I could just like I could go to college, like I really wanna win this. And I remember just like that was the first time I was just like, give me free college. Like, <laughs> it was, well, like, it was yeah. also like, I didn't want my parents to pay for it or whatever, but it was just like. I like how you, because I was going to be, I was like, did you want him to make you win this competition or did you want him to actually pay for your college? <laughs> yeah. Like, I just picked a, a check, just going to yeah. the, whatever Baby, college the you money choose. Tree. But you know, God. It's good that you don't have to ask God anymore. You just ask David and he'll most likely right. do it for you. Which is pretty similar. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. No, but I think He's our guy. it's okay to ask for things that you want that sound like ridiculous, but God, what I learned is that he will always give you not, I don't know how to explain this. He's, he won't give you what you want. He's he'll give, give you the what tools you to get there, the tools to get there, or he'll give you what you need. Like right. I remember mm. praying for things, like, especially living out here, like, please just like, let me have this. Like, I just need this to get like ahead in my career. Like I just need this. And he wouldn't give that to me, but he would give me either the tools or something better than I could have ever imagined. He created TikTok for you. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's like right. Like you kind of got to look back at the big picture and be like, oh, I asked for this. I don't have it, but I have something so much better than I could have imagined. So yeah. like. That's, that's kind of what I do right now. I don't like ask for a specific thing. Yeah. I ask for like the tools and the help. Yeah. to. And you know what? Me. If you're going to, if you're going to be asking God for things, you better be thanking him too. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, don't Every be asking. Day. And then when you get it. Right. Not say thank you. Pray man. when you're struggling and oh pray when you're succeeding. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. I'm religious <laughs> now. Then goes, maybe I can pray three times a week. I don't know. <laughs> Book us an appointment Sunday. Sunday morning. An baby. appointment with an God. An appointment with God. <laughs> we, hey, we want to see the big guy upstairs. Hey, Can hey, you make you, that could happen? You, could you rent out the church? He is my God. <laughs> we went through some shit this week. What shit? Some shaky shit. Oh, some shaky shit. That was crazy. Well, I, I didn't think it was crazy, guys. I didn't, I didn't even feel it. So. What's crazy is we were supposed to record the podcast yesterday, so it would have happened live on the podcast while People we were People are listening recording. like, what? What? <laughs> we had an earthquake yeah. that was probably Everyone's the craziest like, one I've, I've <laughs> we ever talked experienced. about it so much. It's so funny. <laughs> but like, this one, this one was actually different. Yeah, I wish I felt it. I didn't feel it. That's what, it, it's funny because when we, it happened to the three of us, me, Heath, and Mariah, like I was wondering. I was like, I wonder what Zane felt. 
Like what yeah. was his because he left like early. So I just being in such a I don't know. I don't know how it varies so much based on your location because like we weren't that far from one another yeah the thing is that where i was there was loud music i wasn't at a party <laughs> i was at a friend's up but the, the the music was loud and i think the music being loud made me not like feel yeah. the earthquake well we were like, watching a movie yeah and the, it started like rattling and i was like whoa the sub on this is kicking because it was like <laughs> a, like we looked at each other we're like whoa this is yeah. really kicking yeah the vibrations <laughs> of the <laughs> earth <laughs> Um, <laughs> but it was weird because it wasn't like anything I've ever felt before. Normally, it's just like kind of like a, a a rattling, and the windows will like go. But this one felt like Oof. the like if, if there was the like whole a ground if was there just, was like a cartoon earthquake, like if right felt, the right. floor was going like completely all over the place under you, and your bottom half was going. I would, but you were what, like here. Was it was it scarier than any other earthquake we felt like? That Bro, was that one kind of freaked me out. This unsettling. was my first one I felt. Oh, that, that was your first one. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's okay. That's why I was like, I, well, that's like she, not what she I expected. She woke up to like an aftermath of the rattling before, but this was like from start to finish. Like, no, yeah. I I never felt it. I woke up to just the window sounding, and I, I thought, mean that was rattling. But I'm saying this is my first felt earthquake. Like I've never felt the ground moving. Mm -hmm. I've never felt that. See, this one was my. Th third technically and i feel like the second one i experienced here it was that one mm -hmm. the one that you're talking about and i felt violent shaking but this third one felt like my first one which was in uh the bay area in berkeley but i was on the third floor of an apartment and it Ooh. just felt like it was swaying it literally felt like the the ground underneath me whatever i was standing on just felt like it was based like on a watery oh my God. ocean and that's what this one felt like i feel like for all of us it kind of felt like this weird swayy fluid type of like uncertain apartments it was very like, weird seem like the worst place to yeah be. Oh, right yeah. Uh, people yeah. there, people stories that um, like people were posting stories last night and everybody that was in an apartment were freaking out yes. because they really felt like they they like i remember the stories they were just so scared like what if you're in a hotel room at I the would top floor that. or something oh well we were uh, the first year we moved here we we actually felt an earthquake we were on the the top floor that? that was the fourth floor though yeah it wasn't like too too high imagine yeah. being like 15 stories oh my, like up. it's because you feel that like oh my god the after the, the after shit back and forth oh my Fuck god no. on the richter that was a what a 4.8 4. 8. oh yeah. that was a 3.6 i thought i saw it last 4.8 4.8 4. 4. 8. 8. i think was the one that i feel like it's big right it's pretty decent um the the bigger one that happened back in 2019 was a seven yeah something um <sighs> we are so overdue for that big one we talk about it all the time but like we're just, you know, we're laughing. We're living out here. We're loving it. And it's going to hit us and we're going to be fucked. But we're the thing is, you, you got to look at it like it's going to happen one day, but you can't like not live here and not live your life because <laughs> you, it, it's such a weird thing to think about. I know, but I don't think we realize how rocked we're going to get. How like, <laughs> like devastating it's going to be. I don't be. think it'll be worth it the, the, the years that we've been I mean, like, here. I wouldn't live on the side of a cliff in Malibu, <laughs> like, right over the ocean oh, that could, like, my. fall off. But... Earthquakes, like, tend to, like, also cause, like, tsunamis? Yes. Oh! Oh, my... Dude, tsunamis are... Actually, that's what I'm scared of, too. I'm scared of flying and tsunamis. Well, the tsunami <laughs> isn't going to affect us here. You don't know. Have you seen 2012? <laughs> the movie? You've seen that fictional movie, right? That shit, that shit took out the whole country. Y'all seen The Day After Tomorrow? You guys are underestimating how Based big the ocean true is. Events. <laughs> Based off of true events that ha may not have happened yet. You know what I mean? And all the sea monsters that we see like the Kraken. Sea monsters. So. Sea monsters. Stop. I have PTSD. <laughs> that was one of Zane's answers for the crossword that we ne we didn't agree with. <laughs> the hint was Kraken and sea monster fit. It was you Kraken. Tell me, Kraken you tell me what one. else it was. It was Kraken, Kraken for, for one. one. Why would they just not put Kraken? Because it's one sea monster. One monster. Kraken for one. I Kraken, comma, for one. one. It was what, what What else do you think is Kraken? What else is Kraken? K R A K E N. What's, hey, what's, what's Krakalakin? No, Kraken is C R A C K I N. That's not how you spell it. It's K R A K E N. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, I did. I just fact checked it. No, you didn't. The, oh my God. You want me to look at the, this the up? liquor? You want me to Or, the, or the monster? Kenny, when someone says, What's Kraken? Hey, what's Kraken? Oh, you're talking about that context. I'm, you not, just I'm talking, said I'm talking like about that. the sea monster. Oh, I thought you, uh, you were saying it in that context. I'm saying <laughs> it's not it that context. For one. Kraken. Four one. Right, four one isn't like. 
Wait, I don't get it. Boom! Oh What's my up? Gosh, What's sea good? Monster. Sea monster. That's great. We will never live that down for the rest check. of our lives. Oh, <laughs> run me my check. Wait, I don't, I don't, I don't get what's going on. So the hint was Kraken. Like all we got was Kraken, right. comma for one. I put sea monster because it you fit. Know, it made sense. It was the first thing he thought of, and it fit. And and in his track record, that's not always the correct <laughs> answer. No, when, my track record so is fifty percent. So you guys didn't know right. that it was the right answer. Until just a second. We were skeptical that it was the right answer because so many of the other words that we thought fit. other things were fit perfectly, but it just it was made difficult by the sea monster that was on the board. Right. It's because they don't know what Kraken is. And, you know, it's okay. <laughs> I'm, it, it's okay, baby. He drinks his rum. That was actually the first. The, the Kraken was the first roller coaster that I've ever been on in SeaWorld. So I am I know about oh, sea Kraken. Sea monster. I th- me sea monster. T- that might be my first roller coaster, too. It was a good one. Whoa, we have so much in common. I love you. Come here. <laughs> Before we continue, we have a brief word from our sponsor. Today's episode is brought to you by Liquid IV. Ooh, it's my favorite powder hey, to it's drink with my water. Guys, Liquid IV is something that I literally have every single morning now. It just feels so nice. I feel like I get a refreshing start to my day. Yeah. I, I, I personally don't like drinking water that much. So when I do, I know that if I drink water with a liquid IV in it, I'm getting three times the amount of water that I'm yeah. normally getting. Yeah, it's, and a, it's three, just, three times the hydration, hydration of a normal yeah. glass of water. It's so um, good. Which is so nice, and especially because I just like the taste of it. I usually go for the acai berry one, yeah. and it's just it's just really, really refreshing to drink. Yeah, it's like my favorite hangover drink. Oh, because, 100%. Because I, I drink it the night before, before I drink, and I drink it after I drink. You know, like you, you drink right. water before you go to sleep, but I drink a liquid IV, and then I 100%. wake up, and... It, it's like magic. It's like magic because it keeps my my body completely hydrated. Especially throughout the, night. the morning when you wake up with a hangover. Yeah. And it tastes really good too. Dehydration occurs daily in three out of four people, which blows my mind. But with Liquid IV, you have the fastest, most efficient way to stay hydrated. Each serving helps you get as much hydration as two to three bottles of water. Mm-hmm. It contains five essential vitamins, more vitamin C than an orange, and as much potassium as a banana. And a big thing is that it's healthier than sugary sports drink. There's no artificial flavors or preservatives, and there's less sugar than an apple. What's good about Liquid IV is that they have a mission to change the world. Liquid IV is donating 3.7 million servings in response to COVID-19. Products are being donated to Hospitals, first responders, food banks, veterans, and active military. And Liquid IV is available nationwide at Costco and Target, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code UNFILTERED at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you use promo code UNFILTERED at liquidiv.com. So if you drink too much like Zane and I and want to stay hydrated, cure your hangover, or if you feel like you're just not drinking enough water throughout the day, you want to get your optimal hydration, go to liquidiv.com and use promo code UNFILTERED. That would make us really happy because it's literally our favorite thing to drink. And so. it'll make your body happy. Yeah. Anyway, speaking of shaking things up uh, with that earthquake. <laughs> I love Kenny's little, little I'm like, segue. all right, there's too much sexual tension. Uh, <laughs> Carol Baskin was on Dancing with the Stars. It was a topic that we didn't cover a couple weeks what? ago because we got off topic. But I feel the need to bring it up again because did you see the actual advertisement that aired like during the premiere episode no i knew i knew there was something it was gonna happen hold on wait like you're talking about like on the show or so like the, this was the show the and then a commercial yeah oh like just like any just a commercial okay. yeah all right the yeah. show was like we'll be right back had nothing to do with the show it was just in this well it w- not necessarily so they they go we'll be right back okay and this commercial comes up I'm Gail, one of Don Lewis's daughters. We are a real family, and to us, he was daddy. I'm Linda, one of Don Lewis's daughters, and we miss our dad. I'm Donna, I'm Don Lewis's oldest daughter. We need to know what happened to our father. <laughs> I'm Ann, Don's former Get the assistant. Fuck out of here. Isn't All that we're crazy? asking is justice for Don. Don Lewis mysteriously disappeared in 1997. His family deserves answers. They deserve justice. Do you know who did this or if Carol Baskin was involved? 
$100,000 reward has been funded. You can call the tip Whoa. line at 646 Or call our office at Justice for Don Lewis. Thank you. Holy shit. So they paid for that spot to go up they knowing that they knew they were doing, What station yeah. was this on? Was the, the show on? A A NBC, right? ABC. Right. So they, they ABC okayed that commercial to play over. Yeah. As they should have. Knowing people would be talking about it. Yeah. Knowing, like, I know, but that's so shitty for them to be like so sweet and like, ooh, Carol Baskin, oh, we love you. Like, welcome to our show. And then. But we're going to air this, though, because they paid but the price. Money, Crazy. Money, Baby, money, media. money. Yeah. They're, I know, but like, I'm just surprised that they would do that to her. And I'm not taking sides. I'm just saying, right. I'm just surprised that they allowed that. But they got it. You got to think about people will do anything for these views. Like TV Rating? is dying out. View. They're like, people yeah. will tune in if they see that this is a commercial on Dancing with the Stars. They're going to and that's tune people in. People are going to talk about it, like what exactly, we're doing right now. Well, exactly yeah. what we're doing. You know what they favorite, don't care. My favorite part about that was when, <laughs> when, when Donna came in. She goes, I'm Donna, the oldest child and then I just expect her to be like, and ironically, the most attractive. Ooh, and yeah, because she, was pretty. she was like a little she cougar. Was. She was gorgeous. She was. she was ready for camera Hit time. Hit me up, Donna. That's so <laughs> awkward, though. Like That's how? crazy. Though. Like, that's a bold move. And I mean, honestly, like, I respect it. I mean, it's kind of a mic drop. But but you know what? Like, what happened to their dad? Like, imagine, like, Im imagine it was you and your sisters and, like, your fucking dad's gone. Yeah. You know? So... I get it, and you gotta respect that. They're just doing what they can to kind of just, you know, you know, because because the clearly of things. they think that she had something to do with it. Clearly, and it's crazy. Like as a viewer, as like someone who watched Tiger King, when you see something like that, you don't take it seriously, unfortunately, because they were on this crazy fucking show that nobody just everybody just I felt like laughed at. Like people didn't really take it seriously. So now when something actual serious is like. Mm -hmm. come from this yeah. nobody takes it seriously and at the same time you don't have fucking Carol Baskin on Dancing with the Stars y like if it's yeah. not a ploy you know for I mean? ratings like, yeah. that's so like right. that is that's weird the thing, like, their views are whoo, they wouldn't have good. put that commercial on any other network it's because they know that there are some people who are watching Dance with the Stars because Carol Baskin yeah. is on it so they know the story yeah. right so they know that like that's gonna resonate. I wouldn't be surprised if the advert if they gave her a, if they gave them a discount. They'll be like, normally we charge a hundred <laughs> grand for this spot, but for you, we'll give it to you for like so many bucks. Because it was yeah. like it was <laughs> just good content. For yeah, them. It, it's gonna it's that's gonna make it did like seeing that it didn't look like a very good like I don't know. Like a high it honestly seemed like a commercial that would air in Florida after like 2 a.m. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like exactly. I'm Robert Fensterscheib. Like a like a local like car dealership. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Type of One of those. But they were like, we don't care. We know that it's gonna it's gonna cause attention to be drawn to our premiere. So let it be. You know, you know the two guys that approved that shit. They, they, he he tapped the other guy. He goes, Yo, look what we just got. Look we, what we just got. We about to blow they, up. They <laughs> saw it. They saw it coming. They're like, Okay, we got this commercial. This commercial. All right, give it to. Me. <laughs> like, drop it right now well uh that's not the only thing that a lot of attention has been drawn to as of late it wasn't just the the dancing with the stars premiere it was your wap music good video. segue kenny yes it was um let's be real it just hit four million views you've Damn. been trending yeah it did a lot better than i expected honestly i like i thought i was gonna like i mean it was a little cringy but it was supposed to be cringy because i don't sing but um it did better than i thought and a lot of you guys liked it a few of you didn't <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people liked it a lot of people didn't though so, it, so like it, it like obviously it went to everybody that liked it you know it, it was on trending for a couple of days so it started getting to uh, a group like a big group of people it that, went viral ladies yeah. and gentlemen yeah it went it started going to the people that just hated it and i got swarmed with quote retweets of people hating it i got the funniest <laughs> just, responses just really just funny and it was like a lot of hate but like I, I was very surprised that i wasn't taking it to heart like i wasn't scrolling through i'm just like oh my god well my life well is i over. mean like but it wasn't something you were like super passionate like if it was something that you like really cared about like you put your heart and soul like into coming out with this song released it and then it was yeah. like people ripping you i feel like that would have hit that's you that's true like, if it, was my was like it was a joke if yeah. it was my 200th video i would be really bummed yeah. out yeah you're right. right if it was my 200th video i'd be really bummed out but 
We did it quick, so but I do want to read you some of the quote retweets that I got because it was really funny. But this is like what happens when stuff starts trending. It's like when you're when you yeah. like when it's your audience. It's like your audience understands like it, the joke. They get who it. He but is. Once, yeah, yeah right. exactly. Yeah, but and like, a lot of people like, didn't even didn't know who I was, who anybody in the video right. were. So they just thought they took it very seriously. I feel like that's why like, people get pissed. Imagine, off. imagine being that outsider, not knowing anything, <laughs> and seeing it. You'd be like. You you huh? would be like, what yeah. the fuck is this? I would. I personally would be like, what the fuck is this shit? Um, okay, I'm going to read some of them. <laughs> oh, my God. I love this. So these are quote retweets of people. And like these these tweets have like, you know, attention. <laughs> you deserve life sentence for this. Oh. Oh. Hard. Go back to the drawing board, bud. <laughs> Thanks. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Unseasoned, tasteless, unnecessary, disres- disrespectful to Cardi B and Megan. What the hell is this shit? Welcome back to Zane and Heath. Unseasoned. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, it's the Vine Reject Squad. <laughs> so they do know oh, who we are. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Burnt out Viners are such unfunny people. <laughs> unfunny. Zane and Heath, unfunny. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Simple. Nobody wanted this. <laughs> <laughs> I literally hate this community of people so much. <laughs> this is the ugliest shit I've ever seen. Oh my goodness. Why do <laughs> Why do men in Madison beer ruin everything? Men, men and Madison beer. What? <laughs> Who is sitting behind the computer like I have to say something? I have no, to say I, I something. This is important. This is my this call is... to action. <laughs> that was so random to me. Madison beer was just thrown in there. That I just I so laughed funny. out loud at that. And then the final one is someone uh typed in the search bar. Zane should make a wah ballad, and the results were no results for Zane should make a wah ballad. <laughs> <laughs> because no one ever said that. <laughs> that's creative. Like, that's so funny. That's put, pretty good. Like a screenshot of someone typing that in. I just, like that just, one. Just nasty. Yeah. Oh, this uh, this is one more. This is my favorite. Not funny. I didn't laugh. Not a chuckle. Not a hee hee. <gasps> not even a subtle burst of air out of my esophagus. <laughs> Owasophagus? Out of my esophagus. Yeah, that's how they spelled it. <laughs> that was me. That was me giving a little jab back at them. Right. They, they made a typo. See, we're gonna throw it back at you if you come at us. Right. Oh, one more. You're thirty. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> if we're rounding up, yes. But I just thought it was really funny. It's funny, like what people get up in arms about, like what they yeah. are really that invested in yeah. when they're just like seeing something in passing. They yeah. Become and so you invested. know what? If they don't know me, then fine. You know, it's fine. They, they, like, let me let me ask you. So if you saw oh my god a random group of 30 year olds <laughs> oh no why why do we have to be 30 we don't look we don't look or act like we're 30 come on come on give me a break throw me a bone you're not there yet who came up with like the 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 sent like the the whole years thing you know who came up with 30 you know who invented that <laughs> who invented fucking days and years maybe we're not 30 we're just fucking we just Baby, you could be whatever age you want to be. I think so, too. I agree. Well, they're not the only ones that had a problem with the video, though. There I'm was a 30-year-old a, toaster. There was, there was a brand that wasn't too fond of. Yeah. I, um, I've um i been getting some deals here and there for my main channel, but I haven't posted anything. So I've been, like, denying all these deals. And I finally got, like, a really good deal on my main channel. <laughs> and I was like... Okay, like this is good. Like I'll I'll, I'll take the deal. I'm gonna I'm gonna start posting again, and then I'll do the video with that deal. You know, just so it's like I'm back mm-hmm. on track. And I lost it, completely lost it because of this song because that I put of out. the video that you put because out because of the WAP? because of WAP because of the WAP video. Oh, they, they, wow. they didn't want to associate. They didn't want to be because associated. of what it. Yeah. It's funny because like they probably I feel like on paper they were probably like, "Oh my god, his most recent video is trending. It is getting so many views. Let's get him. Let's, let's get him real quick." Go. And then they see it and they're like, "Oh, we're well, not going to be able to do." Really funny it's funny is my dad texted me. I think it was yesterday. He goes, "Did Zane come up with that song?" <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god, he thought I wrote it. And that's I was it. like, I was like, "No, it was a cover." He goes, "Oh, that's a real song." I can't imagine. Goes, Boy, I- am I out of time. <laughs> that's fucking And I was like, funny. yeah, it's a cover song. Like, that's a real song. And he just, like, sang the words to it. He was like. <laughs> Got it. What if, what if he was like, did Zane come up with the song? Because it's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful. It, it was really so is. heartfelt and, like, soulful. David was saying, it's crazy that your version, I can actually hear the words. Uh, uh, unlike the Cardi one. Because it's, you know, really fast. You but, this but one, yeah, you, you were really enunciating, it. hitting it. Okay, right, mm-hmm. right. Yeah, that was me. Yeah, that was me. You know, losing jobs and shit, baby. <laughs> but baby, when another when one door closes with one brand, 
another, another one, one opens. opens. And yeah, someone I, reached out to you recently. Yep. I got a little bit, a bit of an opportunity. Okay. There we go. See, wait, 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 wait. God, God doesn't give you what you want. He gives you what you need. Exactly. Which is a opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! You got a Burger King deal? <laughs> no. <laughs> Ew. No. That's fine. Oh my God. That, I'm right after Travis Scott. <laughs> that would have been so good. <laughs> that's really. That's not a bad like concept. Burger King, Burger hit King? us up. It's, it was your idea, Burger King. Hit us up. Opportunity. <laughs> that Travis Scott trend where people pull up to the drive-through and they're like, "You know why I'm here?" And all the workers are like. Pull right. forward, please. <laughs> I got you. And then they forward. play the song. Yeah, they play the car. song. It's so good. So good. Um, so I, I I get a DM on my uh, and through my Insta. Uh, I see I see the DM. It says, "Would you be interested in modeling for a clothing brand?" I was like, "Oh, okay." Amazing. They think I'm like this attractive person, you know, and they want to model for their clothes. That's great. I go to their. Uh, <laughs> Their masks. I go to their fa their, fashion masks. I go to their, I go to their their site. Their company is called Ugly. All right. <laughs> no. Well, do you get offended at this point, or is it like a? <laughs> do I say a thank you? Do I politely decline? What do I do here? Wait, what do the clothes look like? Ugly. <laughs> Ugly. But you know, real recognize real. That's yeah, okay, baby. Zane. The the one time I modeled for a clothing line. And I tell people all the time, I'm like, I'm not photogenic. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you're. I'm not photogenic. Okay, I'm going to admit it. I am yeah, the I'm least, either. I'm very bad at taking pictures. I just don't look good in pictures. And this just solidified it for me. I modeled for like a clothing company. And they posted everybody but me. <laughs> no! Yeah. No! Yeah. And I looked at the pictures and like they were bad. I looked Shit. horrible. Do you have the pictures? Yeah, I looked bad. Like they like they worked. Well, we they tried it? spending so much time on my hair because they couldn't figure out what to do with it, and then it was like a mess. And like I just don't, I just don't have a good look. But well, well, you're, I think you're gorgeous. Thank you. I th I, Thank you're, you. beautiful. <laughs> you're beautiful oh my god when i was on the set of your wap music video the camera person going around being like does anybody want some pictures i'm like i'm already concerned with the pictures that are going to come out about this <laughs> and truth be told i saw all the pictures that came from it and i was like oh no i look <laughs> so strange like the, people people literally inbox me and they were like ha ha Saw you were in the WAP video. It was so funny. And then they put these like pictures of me zoomed in, like ultra zoomed in. Yeah. And they were like, what the fuck am I doing here? I should not be here. Where's the camera? I'm like. <laughs> Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor for this episode, Ernest. Want to kick it off to me? Baby, go ahead. There Tell them go. what Ernest is. Now's the time to get your student loan payments under control. You could be saving by refinancing your student loans with Ernest. If you've been making the same monthly payment on your student loans for the last couple of years, odds are you could reduce your payment and save money by refinancing with Ernest. Even if you've refinanced before, with today's low rate environment, most people could save by refinancing again. And what a lot of people don't realize is when you refinance something, whether it be a student loan or a car, it's gonna boost your credit score because yeah. it looks like you paid off that loan and then you're gonna get a lower interest rate. So it's just gonna help you overall in the long run, which is really great to do. So you're just benefiting yourself in a lot of different ways. Plus, the internet loves Ernest customer service, baby. They're rated 9.4 out of 10 on Trustpilot. Right, and now you can get $100 cash bonus when you refinance a student loan with Ernest.com slash unfiltered. Woo, once again, you can get $100 cash bonus when you refinance your student loan at Ernest.com slash unfiltered. Not available in all states. Visit Ernest.com slash unfiltered for more details. Terms and conditions apply. Ernest student loan refinance loans are made by Ernest Operations LLC NMLS number 1204917. California financing law license number 6054788 address 303 2nd street suite 401 n san francisco california 94107 visit earnest.com slash licenses for a full list of licensed states we also want to give a big thank you to our newest sponsor harry's harry's just came out with the new sharpest blades ever and unlike some other razor companies they're not charging you more for their product improvements harry's new sharper blades are still as low as two dollars each which is crazy to me because a lot of other companies at walgreens
Walgreens charge you so much money for a pack of razor blades. I, I honestly it, don't understand why it's so is much Is it like money. 6 $7? How it's much is it? It's a lot more than that. It's more than that. I don't, <laughs> you could find Harry's new sharper blades in big box, drug, and grocery stores near you. If you like to shop online, new U.S. customers can redeem a trial offer of Harry's new sharper blades by going to harrys.com slash unfiltered. And this is why you should give Harry's a try. Other razor companies have increased their prices when they introduce something new. Harry's is delivering their sharpest shave ever and they aren't raising prices. And the reason they can deliver quality at such a low price is because Harry's owns a German factory that has been honing razor blades for a hundred years. And they source their steel from Sweden and own the entire manufacturing process from R&D to the factory floor. And that allows them to keep prices so low. And confidently stand by a 100% quality guarantee on harrys.com. And remember, Harry's is available wherever you shop. You can get Harry's sharpest blades ever at Big Box, Drug, and grocery stores near you. Just head on over to the grooming aisle. And if you like to shop online, Harry's has a great offer for listeners of our show. New U.S. customers can redeem a Harry's trial set at harrys.com slash unfiltered. You'll get a five-blade razor featuring their new sharper blades, a weighted handle, foaming shave gel with aloe, and a travel cover to protect your blade when you're on the go. All you got to do is go to harrys.com slash unfiltered and redeem your trial offer today. Again, that's harrys.com slash unfiltered to redeem your trial offer today. Get that clean shave you're looking for. Like this. Look at me. Look at this. Actually, I, I think I need it, right? I actually just shaved this morning. So okay. <laughs> look, look over here. Well, there you go. <laughs> so I know Zane's family came out to visit and Hadaya was seen on the podcast mm -hmm. couch. Oh my Taking God. a little picture yep. here. Big fan. So big fan. we want to introduce her. Come out, Hadaya. I wish. That's fucked up. That's <laughs> fucked up, Zane. You can't one do that. Hadaya's not here. Sorry, one sorry, day. sorry. Um, but she is going to come visit on season two and be one of the guests. Yes, and I need to. I need to see if she can. I need to ask Daddy and Mommy if that's okay. But we'll make. We'll try to make it work. She needs to be. She needs to be here. She needs to be. Here she looks so two. at home in that picture you posted on your story. She was sitting on the couch. She was cozy. I know. She had so much fun. I know. She. Uh, so my brother, his fiance Tali, and Hidaya, my little sister, came out here for a week, and it flew by. It flew. It goes by. so quick yeah, when family comes out to oh, visit. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, and I felt bad. We didn't like do much. We went to uh, we went to Montecito for Jason because Jason rented that house in Montecito, mm -hmm. which was beautiful. It just felt like a nice getaway because it felt like we, for a second, it felt like things were back to normal. Yeah. yeah. It just but it, felt, it, was, it was just us too, like in right. It was house. just like a couple close friends, like in our group. But yeah. it just felt like everybody seemed so chill and so relaxed and like. Having your family out here, it just felt like, yeah, I don't know. It just felt like normal. Yeah, which is really nice. And it felt really feel. normal for me because I see, like, you know, I I go home a lot, so them being out here was no different to me. It was just maybe like, it just felt homey. Maybe it wasn't normal. It, yeah, just seeing like familiar faces like from back home. Yeah. It just felt like like just felt like Florida. I, I know. Guess. And Hed Hedaya, she just like she just fits here, you know. It, like, I was just gonna say like I've this is my first time meeting her. Yeah, and it, what do you just, think? She's amazing. She's literally amazing. I. It's funny because before it's like I see all the comments on the videos and it's mm -hmm. like, bring his eye on. We want her as a guest. We want this one. We want that. And I'm like, I know she's like been a staple in your video, but I haven't seen all of your videos and yeah. stuff like that. So it's like, I don't know her personally and just meeting her. She's actually an incredible person. Yeah. She's so mature for her age. Uh -huh. Like I was nowhere near as mature as her when I was her age. Yeah. Like at all. Yeah, I definitely wasn't either. No. For sure. Like her and I had conversations like long, deep. Like, about taxes <laughs> and mortgages. <laughs> like, yeah, she, I feel like she grew up gambit. really quick. Because yeah. like, I feel like four years ago, it was like she was still like a kid, but then grew up like that. It was like mm -hmm. within a year where I felt like she was just... 26 years old mm -hmm. like mentally she's like, so like logical she's yeah. just so smart and funny and mm -hmm. she's she's and she, a natural yeah, yeah she's willing to do whatever too like she's down to do whatever she'll help you with whatever you need to help with mm -hmm. like she's very like motivating to other people yeah i think she needs to Did be she more motivating to herself what did she have a good time out here yeah yeah i didn't she didn't want to go it was sad do you think she's gonna move out here um i would love for her to move out here i feel like Cause right now she's, she's in school for psychology and the classes she's taking, she, it's just really hard for her and she just doesn't feel like she's going to get to where she wants to. But it's to. online, right? It's online. Yeah. But she still, she went to school while she was here. Yeah. She, she had yeah, to do her yeah. zoom classes. Yeah, she, yeah. She, I wish I could just have her like come work for me because 
in it a would just perfect make, world, it would make right? the most sense. And like, I, like, I don't want to like, cause I, I, I would love an assistant, someone to be in my videos. She, and she, you know, she, she's in all my videos already. So like, I just feel like it makes sense, but can you get ready for all those emails? It just, <laughs> Hey, I Here heard, Zane, we go. I heard Zane mentioned that he's looking for an assistant. <laughs> it, it, it just, it just, it just sucks that we can't make that happen because my, like my dad and my stepmom, you know, I'm sure they don't want her to leave. Mm-hmm. So it's just harder. Just like Mariah was saying, though, it's like she just she I feel like she's just a type of person where she has like the mental capacity to kind of be like a natural anywhere. Like she is just very self-aware. Like there was there's just a self-awareness that I I didn't have at her age Mm -hmm. and open minded. She's very open minded and very like. I don't know. I, I, I panicked because everybody looked at me and they were listening. <laughs> See, Hadaya would never. All you guys are listening, See, and Hada- I don't want to. Hadaya would Hadaya, never do that. Right, Hadaya would have known that. the word. And she's just like a personality. She's you know, so she's funny. funny. She's, yes, she's, she's very quick. quick with things and very witty and. And she has thick skin. Yeah, she doesn't give a shit about what anybody has to say about her. She does yeah. not care. She's very self-aware and knows who she is and is right. very confident in who she is mm-hmm. thank you guys Hidaya, i hope you're it's listening not about you <laughs> <laughs> we're not talking about you yeah but you go to sister. her and you're She's like connected to me by blood <laughs> it's true we just we talked about you on the podcast like i hope you heard i don't listen to that shit <laughs> that sucks. she's so honest she is so honest I think but, she listens. She listens to some episodes, not but all but of them. we will have busy. her in season two. Unfortunately, Un- the t- <laughs> un- for- be quicker with that. Unfortunately, we will have her on season two. Unfortunately, no, but Comma. unfortunately, we couldn't have her on this one because the timing didn't work out because we're not doing guests yet. Yeah, we will. Say, we have some very juicy, very meaty guests that we gonna have on here. So you mm-hmm. guys be prepared for that, and a lot of new things too. We're just very excited. It's gonna mm-hmm. be. It's gonna be real nice. One hell of a season. Season one's gonna be. But y'all wait for compared. season three. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> oh my god. We haven't even finished. Live one audience, <laughs> moving cameras, drones, <laughs> drones. <laughs> we are highly produced here. Like we have a lot of stuff on set. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it, it is exciting seeing people be like, "Oh my god, I wanted to like say something as you guys were talking because it felt right. like I was like with you guys in the conversation." Like that yeah. to me is like the most important thing. Well, now you can because we have an unfiltered hotline. Uh, where you I guys was gonna ask say in your the, questions. The amount of people that call in, like, are you guys? Yeah, thank you guys. The, this is, this is amazing. And they always, some of them just call in and they're like. There was just one thing that resonated with me with the last podcast and I just had to call in and I had to like chime in and they had to give their like joke or their little one liner because they just feel so attached to what happens like oh, on so the funny. podcast. Yeah. That's the best compliment. That's cute. But we'd be getting some really good questions. Well, hit it, though. Kenny, baby. Oh, okay. Let's answer some questions. I was going to say might as well. It would be <laughs> interesting. I forget if I said this already, but it would be so interesting if one of the guests we're like a stranger that we came across that day. Like earlier in the day, we just go out, oh, go to a restaurant, right, go right. somewhere and ask somebody like, we have a podcast. Would you want to be on it? And just like ask them questions and see if they just have like a crazy life story. I would like, love it'd to be ask so like, interesting. Jerry, the homeless guy we met. Yeah. I would love to have him. Oh right. My God. People. I mean, people still comment about him. I think we haven't seen him guys, by the way, that was the last time we saw him. Yeah. Jerry. Yeah. The homeless guy. Mm-hmm. I hope he's doing all right. All right, so we got some good questions. Um, I'm going to play one now for you guys. Thank you, babe. This is Colin Cobbins. <laughs> <clears throat> this is... Oh, it's, 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 it's Colin Coffee Talk, baby. Right, it's Colin, Colin Coffee, Coffee Talk, Talk, baby. Run that first question. Hey, Unfiltered. This is Denise calling from California, not too far from you guys. So I actually met Mariah and Heath one day at a Goodwill, and all I could say was, hey, you're awesome, and walked away because I was so nervous. I was just wondering what your ideal meet with a um, fan would be. If you would like to take a picture, just a quick talk, and that's for all of you guys. Thank you. I remember her at the Goodwill. Do you? Yeah, cause, and it's so funny that she asked that question because she did come up and say something really quick and leave, and like me and Heath were like, that was kind of cute. Like, that was kind of fun. Just, like, really cute. That's very cute. There, yeah. there is no, like, ideal, like, what we want the fans to act like if they see us in public. Like, there is no, like, do this. And, like, that would be weird if we were yeah, telling people weird. what to do. Um, but I do like the people who are, like, super casual with it. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, what's going on, Heath? How you doing? Yeah. Hey, what's up, bro? Like, to me, I get, like, I get, I get really excited about that. It sounds, it's, it almost sounds like you know them in right. person, which makes it more, I feel like, right. which, more a, which a lot of them. people feel like they, they are with us because yeah. they know so much about us. Yeah. So it's like they, they see us all the time 
and they're just like they feel connected so it, yeah. it's kind of cool it's just like hey what's up he hey what's going on brother how you doing good to see you like and it, it feels like mm -hmm. really nice to because it makes both parties comfortable yeah right yeah, yeah. i was gonna and say because there's there, there are times i feel like when i've been around you where it's like somebody be like wait are you no oh my god no and then they're talking to their friends like, are you are you, wait no you're not i i feel like you're like if you're if you just say like hey Heath how's it going whatever it automatically indicates that they know who you are they appreciate your content right, right. It, it says a lot without saying a lot yeah you know, just being like hey Heath how's it going Zane oh my God how's it going man like it is and for some reason it makes you light up more for some reason when it's like that mm -hmm. uh, right. Quick organic. and they're that clear with what they want right. to say yeah and I understand people get nervous yeah. and people like panic that's totally fine but. She asked, so. <laughs> yeah, like, Dude, that's how I am. When people are really quick, it makes me right. want to run after them yeah. for some reason. Right, because, yeah. Because it's, it's because that's what I would do. Like, if I saw that's, someone yeah, I right. love, that's like. exactly how I would do it. So I feel like, ooh, I want to meet that person because I feel like we're going to like right. have a lot of similarities. Yeah. But guys, it shouldn't stop you from asking us for pictures or anything. We don't want right. you to feel like... All right, you do, guys love so pictures. So you do whatever you want. Whatever it makes you feel like you... Whatever you feel like you need to do, just right. do it. And like, always keep just in mind, don't like, hurt we, us. we're super excited to take pictures and like make everybody's experience You guys amazing. always take pictures. Yeah. Um, yeah. You never so don't say ever no. feel uncomfortable because like, yeah. I, uh, that's a big thing. A lot of people would be yeah. like... Uh can, uh can I I'll be like Do you want to take a picture Yes 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 yes, yes. Right Yeah, yeah. And like, You always have yeah. to yeah. Oh, And when I'm drunk I'll talk to you for Hours oh, We know We're like Zane we gotta go We gotta go Okay we gotta go You wanna take them with you oh, yeah, We gotta I even, go I don't even know these people yeah. I don't even know them But like I, I like I feel safe because mm -hmm. I know that they right. like they watch myself like they know right. me. There's actually a famous drag queen that has commented about this about like fans approaching them and her name is Trixie Mattel, the drag queen, but she's very not like she's not like a huggy person like can I have a hug? Can I have a whatever? She's not that, but she actually appreciates when people come up to her and they say a specific thing that resonated with them with a person because it gives like a jumping off point to start like an actual conversation okay. it's yeah. not just like uh, can I have a photo and then running away it's like oh my god I loved episode 49 where you guys talked about like you know specific. yada yada yeah. yada we're yeah. almost on episode 49 we we are about to, it's, this it's is, because this is oh no this is 49 this is 49 this is episode 49 we yeah. should we should make like a, a a code word or something so like from now on if people like have heard this podcast and they see us they'll be like Oh my God, googly schmoofs, <laughs> or so whatever. Yeah, somebody like, so, is definitely like, gonna say that. Something special, like oh my gosh, like, really off the wall. Like oh my God, googly schmoofs, and we, if we hear it, we're like, we'll like whoa. Okay, we not okay, the we, word. <laughs> we I, would, I don't know Zane, why it was the first thing that late. I thought there's, of. The there's word. already merch the being word. made. Googly schmoofs. Googly schmoofs. Wait, can we? It's unfiltered, so it's kind of a story that you've never talked about. Can we talk about that one girl that you met outside of Panda Express? Oh my gosh! What? That is a uh, moment. Oh, like I don't tell me, tell me. I don't get like weird about fans at all. Like I'm always super welcoming, and I just like I don't know. Like I, I appreciate it because if somebody watches me and supports me, like I'm always very excited, right? And of course, very grateful. Um, but this one was different. But this motherfucker, <laughs> this it one was, was different. Scary. But the way Heath handled it, he was still so nice. Like there's so many times where Heath gets called Zane, and he'll just be like, "Oh, it's Heath." But yeah, you can take a picture. Like he's so nice oh, about I mean, it. I mean, it, right. the thing is, none of us should be offended if like they. No, we're not offended. Yeah. We're not offended. Right. Oh, okay. You guys okay. Get, no. But this was one of those moments. Got it. But it was, got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. She come. She comes running <laughs> up to me. She was like, "Oh my God, Zane, what's up?" And I was like, "Ooh." <laughs> and I was like, "I was like, I'm, I'm not Zane, but hi, how you doing?" She's like, "I know you're Zane." Oh and I was God. like, I'm not, I'm not Zane. I'm sorry. Don't fucking lie to me. You got a fucking camera in your hand. I see your fucking camera. Oh, You're vlogging. Oh, You're shit. Zane. And I was like, telling him was, was you he like, are Was she talking to you like that? Yes. I was like, Dude. and she looked maybe like 13. Like she was Oh, young. she's 13. She was Literally young. Literally like this, this was like a She uh, looked at him. Boy. She goes, I see your fucking camera. I know it's you. That's what she said. I was like, I'm not Zane. I'm sorry. I, she was crazy. Ooh, that's nasty. nasty. Wow. Oh, and fuck. like very very aggressive like that and i was just like i'm heath but like she nice like to didn't meet you. believe him and oh didn't, still like it no, didn't click she it didn't was... put two and two together that like oh it's zane and heath like maybe i just mix them up like she was like this is zane this is zane this is zane that was it <laughs> and heath was like <laughs> in the picture i was like all right i'm zane 
<laughs> well, I hope she posted it and tagged me so I can see. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so well, oh, my gosh. Yo, yo, Zane was an asshole. He kept lying to me. <laughs> <laughs> he, purposely knowing that he, she thought it was you, and he just takes his hat off. He goes, yeah, my hair plugs are not coming off <laughs> nicely. Uh, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. Fuck. That's insane. Um, like, I don't know what I would do if I was around. Like, if I was around a celebrity that I actually idolize, I really genuinely don't know how I would react. Would you go up to that person? If he you, like, camped out for Lady Gaga. I'm all I'm thinking about. You also Lady camped Gaga out for right Rick and Morty merch. <laughs> That's true. I have different loyalties, but like, I really think that I think that I would honestly go the whole like the drag queen route. I would actually say something specific that I really that really really resonated with me that I was indicative of like why I love them so much. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I would just go up to them and just be like, Hey, like I, on, I genuinely feel like I wouldn't ask for a picture. I would not ask for a picture. No, on I, I feel either. uncomfortable asking. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I personally wouldn't ask for a picture. No. Yeah. But like, I mean, that's not to discourage anyone, but yeah. I, me personally, I know that like my picture with them is not going to be greater than my experience. with right, them. And right. if I can make my experience with them better then that's going to, be of more value to me that's all that matters that's what i feel too because if 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 i like you brought up lady gaga i mean okay so if i <laughs> was to meet lady gaga I apologize. No, seri- like l- actually if, if she I walked was, in the door right now if she was to walk in the door right now i would not ask for a picture i would say something specific that was indicative of why i resonate with her so much and just be like Thank you so much for talking about mental health in your last music video. Like it meant a lot to me. Like I really resonated with it. I right. loved it. I appreciated all the messages you were trying to convey. And I would just, that's literally it. Like there'll be times where like we're at a restaurant or we're just out. I, it, I think it's a public setting where I like, I get overwhelmed and I shut down. I'm like a turtle when someone like starts screaming, Really? right? Like they start screaming my name and then every, all heads start to turn. I want to disappear. Like that's when like I get completely shut off. Yeah. And um, something like that would be would be much appreciated by all parties. I feel like all parties would just have a better experience. I've started getting really yeah. uncomfortable in like public settings recently. Me too. Me too. I used to I, be like very outgoing. I feel like and like talkative, demonstrative, and mm-hmm. now I just feel like I, I feel like I've been clamming up. Especially like if something like that does happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like it's more like uncomfortable feeling. Yeah, I've We're, been feeling more antisocial the older I get. Which is strange because, which is strange that all of us feel this way because we have a podcast and our job is to talk, but I feel like we're getting more and more, I don't know if we're in our head, like I have to say something funny right now. I have to say something intelligent right now. Like, I don't know what it is, but I'm constantly thinking about like what I'm saying. Like right now, everybody's eyes are on me and I'm like trying not trying so hard to like figure out what to say next. And it's just like, it overwhelms me. It's like, it's a really weird feeling. I feel that too, but I also feel more like. I enjoy listening to people like I used to be very like I'm going to be loud. I'm going to talk and I want people to look at me. And it was like it, it was like, kind of like an attention thing, like in high school, yeah. yeah, in college and even coming out here. Like in the beginning, it was just like being the life of the party, being the center of attention. Like it felt good. It felt like mm-hmm. rewarding. It was almost fun because yeah. like you were you were the one providing the entertainment. Yeah. And now I'm like. I'm excited to see and be around other people who are like that because I, it, it intrigues me to be like asking questions. Like I like, I like hearing people. I like you're a good listener. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I just like, as I'm getting older, I'm enjoying that more. And it's weird because I feel like when my dad was younger, he used to be like the cool guy. Like I feel like he used to be like this jock party guy. And now that he's older, he doesn't say much at all. But when he does talk, it's really funny. It's to the point, and he he's saying what he means, but he'll listen. Like he might not look like he's, he's paying attention. Silent, gentle giant. But you know what I mean, though. Like yeah. you, you've been around him a lot. Yeah. Like he his comedic timing is. He doesn't perfected. talk much, yeah. but when he says stuff, it's like, wow. Like that was that was really good. And I don't know. I feel like I'm not, without trying to. I'm like becoming that. Yeah, that's good. Oh my god! The first time I was recognized was in Catalina. Ooh! Oh yeah, Kenny! I I was so ready to just grab the camera and be like, "Yep, I'll take a picture of you and Heath, and (laughs) you and Mariah and Heath." And they were like, "Oh my god, we recognize Kenny first, but probably because I'm so tall and like jiggly curls, baby." But I'm like, "Oh my god, oh god, oh my god!" I told your mom, I was like, "Oh my god, I have to, oh my god, I have to get into this picture now." Okay, like, (laughs) well, we thought it was James Charles at first, but then, (laughs) (laughs) and then we were utterly disappointed when we thought it was Kenny, but we were like, "Okay." (laughs) 
Kenny, it'll do. Ken, it'll Kenny do. doesn't know how to like talk to like people like that yet. He's I just don't. like, I got, oh, do you want me to be in this picture? They're like, yes. No, but it, it is a very bizarre feeling. Like I remember, like you didn't ask for this. I didn't. Wow, we are <laughs> going on with this question, but like I remember, like when we started on Vine, and like the first people that would come up to us and recognize us from Vine and wanted oh pictures. Oh my god, yeah, we're like, what? We're the like, fuck? what do you mean you want a picture of us? Yeah. Like, and that's it was what, like it was us being like, damn, I, I want a I, car wash. I remember people were like, can you send a video to my granddaughter because it's Christmas and she loves you guys. And we're like, so specific. Wait, hold on, you want us to send you a video of us saying Merry Christmas? Weird. It like stuff. didn't make sense because it was an odd request. It's like, right. Why? So like, yeah. like I understand that that's what you're feeling right now, but like, baby, you get used. <laughs> that's funny. Let's hit question two because I feel like yeah. Oh yeah, we got another question. question two. Hi, my name is Aubrey and I'm from Kentucky, hey, and my question is for all of you. So I really love your guys' podcast and just sitting down and talking about whatever in the world because I've watched from episode one. You know, excited for season two, but I really miss the once a week videos where you would play like charades. So, would you guys consider posting those videos again Girl, once a you week? you put us on the spot, huh? Along with the podcast. Love you. Thanks. She says, can you do both? Can you Hi, can Aubrey. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> Aubrey. thank you for listening from the beginning. We really appreciate that and love you for your support. Um, but it's funny you ask because Zane and I are actually bringing back the bonus videos for season two and going to be doing a weekly bonus video episode. Of, and we'll stick to it, hopefully. It, it'll be uh, like a like a Zane <laughs> and Heath video. Um, like we used to post, yeah. Uh, but just super random, out of nowhere, like the quarantinis and the yeah, doing charades, stuff like that. It's just gonna be a fun bonus video, just to keep everybody yeah. engaged and having Cause, fun. Because we, we post a podcast once a week, but like, you gotta see, you gotta see other type of content than just podcasting. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You gotta see something. You gotta see something juicy. So, and there's a lot of stuff we would like to do, but it's kind of different to put it on one of our channels. And it's just like it, it's more fun when it's the both of us doing a specific activity or yeah. whatever it may be. It's like a um, clean slate to us. So right. it, it, it's I feel like it's more exciting and we can bring on just more ideas. But we do have a couple things that we already have planned and ready to do for these bonus videos. So just hang in there. They're going to be coming as soon as we release season two. And uh, yeah, yes, sir. Very good. All right, let's close this out. I okay. feel like we we've been we've been talking too much. Uh, we love you guys so much. Thank oh, you. Before always. we close out, because pe what people you? people that are gonna tune out when they hear the outro, we have new merch. Oh, we right. have you guys, new merch. For those that have been watching, have been seeing Zane in this beautiful pastel yellow hoodie. This is gonna be a limited time only, unfiltered in the pastel yellow. It's got the juice, the funny on the hey, arms. Hey. So if you want to check it out, please go to fanjoy.co/slash Zane and Heath. Uh, but all right, guys, we love you so much. Thank you for tuning in as always, and we will see you next. Wait, 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 hold on. There's something we need to talk about. Uh, Our series finale. 49. Yeah. The next oh, one's gonna be oh, okay. Well, let's squeeze it in the end, baby. Uh, you guys have been waiting for this episode for a very long period of time. And it's finally, and it's finally <laughs> coming. Those, a lot of you guys have been emailing Kenny, emailing us. Calling. And you guys have been screaming for this episode for the longest time in the world. And we finally have it here for next episode. The final episode of season one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mariah, tell them what we're doing next season. I mean, Don't. No. Tell them what we're doing. The Are you surprised like guess? Formally is. Nope. I think the battery just died. Kenny said not to say it yet. We're going to keep it a surprise for next I episode. I can baby literally SpongeBob because they never give it away. <laughs>